Today, we're diving into the essence of femininity in a way that's clear, practical, and easy to grasp. Often, we might skip over the fundamental aspects or rush into the how without truly understanding the why. This video is split into two segments for better clarity. In the first part, we'll delve into the concept of femininity, its various forms, and the idea of enhanced femininity. It's essential to recognize what femininity truly means and whether it resonates with you before you dive deep into it. In the second part, we'll explore why embracing femininity might be beneficial, who it might suit best, and practical ways to enhance it if you choose to. Whether you're already exploring femininity, just curious, or even a bit skeptical, there's something here for you. I'm excited to share these insights with you, and by the end, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Did you learn something new? or do you have a different perspective? Let's begin this journey together. Now let's start exploring femininity realistically and understandably. Let's uncover the basics and the foundation that ties it all together. To kick things off, it's essential to state that every woman is feminine. This is an important starting point for our discussion. So, if all women are inherently feminine, why bother teaching or talking about it? These are valid questions. The answer lies in the fact that femininity exists on a spectrum. This conversation is about identifying and enhancing where you fall on that spectrum. When it comes to femininity, choice is a keyword. I firmly believe in the importance of sisterhood, transcending the different lifestyles we choose. While I see femininity as a lifestyle with great benefits for those who opt for it, I don't support criticizing or excluding women who don't. So, what exactly is femininity? What does it mean to be feminine? At its most basic, the dictionary defines feminine as having qualities or appearances traditionally associated with women, notably delicacy and prettiness. Some may focus on these aspects like delicacy and prettiness, but femininity is much more than that. Having qualities or an appearance traditionally associated with women. This includes often overlooked natural characteristics like higher estrogen levels, which can lead to higher or softer voices, wider pelvic bones, more delicate bodies with curves, longer hair, and so on. These are innate qualities that most women naturally possess, traditionally associated with femininity. It's important to note that these qualities already exist without any additional effort, like specific training or changing one's appearance. This reinforces the idea that all women inherently possess a degree of femininity from birth, an aspect that often becomes more pronounced after puberty. In essence, all women are feminine by default. I want to emphasize that when discussing femininity on this channel, it's never my intention to imply that any woman who chooses not to engage in additional feminine activities or presentations is any less inherently feminine. The aim is to explore and enhance femininity in ways that are comfortable and appealing to each individual without ever suggesting that personal choices diminish one's biological femininity. Enhanced femininity, as I like to call it, is essentially a form of self-improvement. It's about consciously understanding, appreciating, and utilizing the unique aspects of being a woman. This includes recognizing our special features and understanding our strengths and weaknesses. Enhanced femininity is about being intentional and giving extra attention to every aspect of our lives as women. Pursuing this lifestyle means not just passively experiencing life, but actively seeking improvement. It involves learning about and addressing our vulnerabilities, turning them into strengths. Enhanced femininity encourages us to tune into our bodies, understanding our natural rhythms. For instance, Knowing when in your menstrual cycle you are most energetic can help you capitalize on those times for maximum productivity and well-being. This approach to femininity is about empowerment and self-awareness. It's not about becoming less of a woman if you opt out of certain aspects. It's about making informed choices that enhance your life as a woman. Understanding and working with our natural rhythms is a vital part of enhanced femininity. Knowing when we are most energetic or need rest can help us align our activities with our body's cycles. This awareness can lead to improved productivity and well-being. For example, some women may find they work better in the mornings, while others are more productive at night. Learning these patterns about ourselves enables us to work in harmony with our natural tendencies. 
Enhanced femininity also involves pursuing careers and hobbies that bring us joy and fulfillment. If your current job isn't ideal, that's okay. It's a common experience. You can still choose hobbies that bring you relaxation and rejuvenation. This is equally important for stay-at-home moms managing households. Finding hobbies that contribute to your well-being is crucial. Moreover, cultivating friendships and a social life that brings joy is essential to enhancing femininity. It's important to note that while having feminine, like-minded friends is excellent, it's not essential only to befriend women who subscribe to the enhanced feminine lifestyle. Diversity in friendships can enrich your life. In my circle, there's a mix of women who fully embrace this lifestyle and those who don't. And that's perfectly fine. The key is to surround yourself with good people who support and respect you and your journey without negatively impacting your lifestyle. In enhanced femininity, loving our bodies goes beyond mere words. It involves nourishing ourselves with healthy food for optimal performance and engaging in physical activities to stay strong, energized, toned, and fit. Effort is put into maintaining an impeccable appearance, influencing how we are treated in various social settings like work, travel, shopping, and dining. This lifestyle also extends to the quality of relationships we cultivate, including the type of men we attract. Understanding the power of words is crucial. They can empower us and help us handle challenging situations gracefully without acting out of character. Enhanced femininity is about knowing what we want and developing strategies to achieve our goals, making life easier and more enjoyable. It is a choice intersecting with the concept of feminism, the right to pursue the life we choose. Enhanced femininity can be adapted to different aspects of life. For instance, you might emphasize femininity in relationships, but adopt a more assertive role at work. As a single mom, you might adjust your approach based on what your child needs at the moment. The idea of enhanced femininity is not about being more feminine per se. It's about how to improve it if you wish and if it benefits you. It's a common misconception that femininity is a one-size-fits-all lifestyle. Not every goddess is Aphrodite. There are various feminine archetypes, each with its unique style and mannerisms.